Yo, what's going on guys? We are back to day four, another Alliance War video. Um, not sure what number this is. We, this season's over at this point, but uh, you know, the good thing is, is that we have, this is a four week off season. So during that off season time, I'll be uploading the past four seasons. You guys have some more content uh, to watch if you are into that sort of thing. Uh, Alliance War videos, and I know not everyone is, or has, kind of gotten a bit repetitive you know hoping for some big changes soon um for se not the next season but the season after um i'm hoping that that's a really big change but uh first up here we have a mephisto so we we, we put that flame on and bro he just he melts uh one of my that's honestly one of my favorite matchups in the entire game is human torch versus mephisto with flame on it's it's just such there's no better matchup, I don't think, man. Like, it's so good. Torch's damage potential is, like, almost limitless in that fight. Like, if, if I could fight, like, a 50 million health Mephisto with Human Torch, like, that'd be awesome. And because eventually, you're incinerate, so you, your smolders just keep going up. Your incinerates would start doing, like, 100k damage per tick, man. Like, it would get to a point where it would just be insane. It's such a good matchup. Uh, next up here we have an Immortal Hulk. So uh, we got Falcon, you know, rank three Falcon. Put in some work, we got some power alternator here. So we're just dropping the special ones so that he doesn't steal my power. We don't want him to do that. Uh, gonna re-trigger a lock on here. And then finish with a special one. I was trying to get him to, uh, to bleed at the end so I can just kill him right away. I think that's how it works, not even sure. But yeah, he goes down. So the first couple fights of this war uh, go well. I think I was having a little bit of a connection issue here and like, please don't lag out, <laughs> but it's, it's okay. Uh, and then next up here, we have a, a Tigra who I'm supposed to be taking here with uh, with Human Torch. So we're gonna go ahead and take her on. Uh, we got Power Snack and Back Recovery. So you need to be careful when you trigger Dexterity because she'll nullify it and take, uh, she'll get some power gain from it which uh, you gotta be careful for. And then back up recovery, once she drops below 50%, she's gonna get like a burst of power. So you just gotta be ready for her power and try to bait those special ones without dexing. That's what I go for. Right there you see I dexed it, uh, so she nullified it, got a little bit more power, but that's okay. We're keeping the power out under control decently well, but now it's kind of getting out of control and I'm like, crap. I'm like, you know what? I, I don't want to deal with her special two, so I'm just gonna go full combo into my special two. It's gonna stun her, and then she dies. So we push her right to the L3, man. The power got a little bit out of control, but uh, we did enough damage to just kill her before we really had to deal with the repercussions of that. So that was the, the section one of the war. And then uh, still got the six hour boost, throw on a 30% boost. Um, cause we had a couple in the overflow after buying the, uh, early access bundles for Mr. Negative and stuff. So, uh, I am taking the boss as well this war. It's a Magneto. We're using Sorcerer Supreme. I haven't been using Sorcerer Supreme a, a ton lately, uh, but it was, so when I saw her, I was assigned her. I was like, okay, okay, I'm ready to use her again. You know, it's been enough time. She, she's been warming the bench for a while. Uh, but up first here we have a Stealth Spidey. So. That's a great matchup where there's an evade, an active evade, and Falcon can just shut it off because you can see we gained a bunch of cruelty stacks. Uh, we got 13 cruelty stacks right now, which just make our critical hits deal more damage. So it's really nice. And when we're locked on, he just he can't evade. It's impossible for him to evade. Uh, we are getting some suppression stuff, but I'm not worried about that at all. It doesn't matter. I don't need to use my power in this fight. We're just our basic combos do enough damage. Uh, so that fight was really easy. The next up here we have a Doctor Doom. Pretty much the same thing, you know, we're just going to use Human Torch and uh, not throw any specials. Not worried about the strike counter suppression charges at all. We're just going to be going three hit combos, medium, light, medium. Uh, oh, I think at the start here I was just trying to... I don't know what I was doing at the start there. But yeah, get into the medium, light, medium combos and uh, yeah, all there is to it. You want to get your temperature max and then hit uh, seven incinerates. And then uh, you can trigger the Nova Flames because our Flame on is on cooldown, uh, or I mean it's it's gone now because I'm not awake and I can't get it off cooldown until I awaken my Human Torch. But yeah, don't need it for this fight. It's just very simple, and Doom just gets melted real quick. I I love Human Torch so much, man. 
such an amazing character. Um, I still can't believe people were sleeping on this dude back in the day when he first came out, man. Like, he's just such a mystic melting machine. Love it. Uh, so next up here we have a thing. Uh, I've done this fight plenty of times. This one's actually only a 565. So a little bit easier than to actually what I'm used to. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really boosted as well. So I'm not worried at all. Uh, this war matchup was... Uh, at the start of the war, we lost, it looked like, the first three wars. I think this is War 5, because we won War 4. I think this is War 5. Uh, but yeah, we already have three losses, so we, we kind of went down quite a bit in, in raiding. So uh, the, the next two matchups after those three losses were a little bit easier than what we were used to. So that's why the defense is, you know, uh, probably a little bit more rank 5s than, than rank 3s. Uh, so just a bit easier on us, which which is nice after having such a crappy start to the season. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the same exact fight with just things just has a little bit less attack and a little bit less health. So same principles apply. Uh, you know, just don't parry, get locked on. That's when you do most of your damage. Just kind of kill time while lockdown is on cooldown. And yeah, try to go for intercepts to get those openings. And it's going really well. We, we were hitting so many intercepts in that fight actually. Very clean interceptions, and uh, yeah, fight was a breeze. Then next up here we have a hit monkey. I think someone was applying guidance for me. Yeah, um, and then yeah, we're gonna jump in here with with Falcon. Uh, we got uh, heal him up a little bit with a potion. So hit monkey. I was, uh, you know, fighting hit monkey is always just a little bit scary because if you slip up against him, one combo can kill you. Like, this guy crits. I I'm pretty boosted, so maybe I could... I don't even know. Definitely don't want to find out, though. He just... He hits so hard. He's got the guaranteed crits. Don't want to mess with this dude. So, now that we're locked on, uh, we got, we got a, a lot of increased crit rate. We got extra damage from the guidance. I just want to be at the special one. Don't want to deal with the special two. I also got to worry about brute force. Uh, if I don't hit him a certain period of time, then I'm gonna start degening. So we gotta we gotta watch that. Uh, but yeah, with guidance, you know, it takes away the limber from the node, so it makes it a lot easier. Uh, so here we're gonna get relocked on, and then we're gonna go for the special two. Um, and he just doesn't even trigger either of his phases when he's knocked down because of that locked on. I guess it just prevents his abilities from triggering. I didn't know that's how it worked, but you know, that's cool. And yeah, just keep on baiting out these L1s. I've gotten pretty good at, at, at dexing all the special ones. It's pretty easy. Uh, try not to push them to the special two, because it's, I don't, I don't know if it's impossible to evade, but it'd be very difficult to try to evade all of it, especially in Alliance War. You'd have to be crazy to really risk it uh, in that kind of a situation. And uh, yeah, easy fight, just took it nice and slow and uh, hit monkey goes down. So yeah, we've just been clearing the whole war map. So far at this point in the season, I think we have two boss kills, two Mojo boss kills from the first two wars. And then we have one death to a Modoc boss. Um, so yeah, overall so far this season, we have one death uh, going into this fight. It's a rank three Magneto. We're bringing a Sorcerer Supreme. I haven't used her in a while, so. Uh, my Sorcerer Supreme play is a bit rusty, but this matchup is just such a favorable matchup to Sorcerer Supreme that it's, it really doesn't take a whole lot of skill to do, uh, as long as you just know what to do this fight. It's more knowledge than skill based fight, essentially. So as long as you, you know what to do, you should be fine. Uh, as long as you don't make some colossal mistake, which of course can happen, it happens to the best of us. But uh, yeah, so far so good, we get the slow applied. Now that he's slowed, basically we can bait out heavy attacks um, because I mean, the, the reason why Magneto is so annoying to fight here is just because he's stun immune um, as a boss and he has increased health, a lot of health out of attack. And because he's stun immune, uh, you're not able to parry him. Uh, so you know that right away, boom, your options to get openings are limited. Uh, and he's metal, so you know, and there's true strikes, so you can't quake or ghost him. Um, or you know, he, he screws up with metal. So you can't, you can't phase with Ghost or anything like that. So it, it really just limits the openings that you can get. And because Magneto has an unstoppable buff on his uh, his heavy attack, that limits baiting out heavy. So your openings, your ways to just get openings become really limited. So that's why Champion Lake Sorcerer Supreme here, applying the slow, uh, just lets you get 
that lets you get access to baiting or heavy attacks. And you can also get a passive regeneration, uh, so you can heal a lot of block damage that baiting heavy attacks just becomes a breeze. And uh, yeah, it just makes the fight pretty much a joke. So here you can see you just bait heavy attacks, just easy openings now. Um, yeah, Source Supreme really just flipped the script. It goes from a fight where there's barely any ways to get openings to just the easiest opening you can get and pretty much no punishment on it either because the punishment would be block damage but because she regens so much of block damage with that passive regen there's really no punish no 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 negative uh for source premier so yeah it's just really all about the knowledge knowing when to throw your specials to get everything uh set up correctly um yeah uh the, your first special three will will bank whatever ruin you're on so that every special attack you throw after will always apply that ruin effect which can either be a ruin effect uh, which can either be slow regen or armor break and uh, on this fight I, I banked the slow which is the safe play but um, you know I didn't even really intend to bank that one I was, I was just kind of at three bars and I was in that phase and I'm like all right whatever let's just bank it uh, I honestly prefer I mean, any of the three works, you know, uh, the armor breaks, uh, is just, you're going to get more armor breaks, it's going to make the fight go a bit quicker, the regen, you know, you're just going to have more, you're going to have regen up pretty much 100% of the time after that out three, and that's just going to make your, your block nice and safe, you can take it pretty much infinite block damage, um, as long as you can regen it in time before you take the next big amount, um, yeah, or you can go for the slow and pretty much have 100% uptime on the slow, uh, which you, you can do any of the three. Uh, you just gotta adjust how you play slightly. You know, you make sure if if you don't bank the slow one, make sure that you're not rating heavies when he when he doesn't have slow, or else he'll still go unstoppable. That would uh, not be good. But uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about that here. It's just a bit of a, a longer fight because we didn't bank the uh, the armor break rune. Um, but uh, yeah, about three and a half minutes in, he's below ten percent now. He's almost down. You can see we can just block his special attacks too, like it doesn't matter. It's a pretty broken ability that Sorcerer Supreme has. I don't think she's a broken champion, but uh, that regen on block is honestly one of the strongest abilities in the entire game. I think it's so powerful, but it is easily countered by just like heal block. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. Minita goes down. I've done that fight probably like five or ten times, you know. I've never died a single time. I usually always come out with like a full, full health too, so... Very simple fight, um, very easy, and yeah, had a pretty solid war. So yeah, I think that was it for war number five. Uh, I'll, I'm definitely gonna get out all the wars for the season. This is actually a pretty awesome season. Have some really good wars coming up later on if you guys wanna check those out. But yeah, I'll just be, you know, kind of slowly uploading them throughout this long off season. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, that's gonna do it. If you guys enjoyed uh, the war boss and all the fights, you know, drop a like, subscribe. If you'd like to see more Alliance War content, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.